Hello everybody, this is Derby Dad here and we're going to show you the first step in how to begin working on your Pinewood Derby car. Yeah! Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start by inserting the axles and we're going to use this tool here which is called a Pro Axle Press um, and we're going to show you how this all works and, but the purpose of doing using this tool is if you look at the first Pinewood Derby car that we built um, you can see that this axle is kind of angled up a little bit so it didn't go straight in so when you look at that wheel it's kind of on this angle as opposed to being perpendicular to the car so it's rubbing a little bit up here which will actually slow the car down you see that and you'll also notice if you can look really closely it's kind of hard to see in this lighting but there's a crack in the axle so uh, what we did is we shaped the car first and then we went to insert the axles and at that point it was actually hard to use I had the axle press but I couldn't really use it because it was hard to put in there and we had already basically assembled uh, finished the construction of the car I couldn't cl clamp it down well so um, the axles didn't really go in straight and although I think the car the design and you know hollowing it out putting all the weight in back was a good design um, it uh, nonetheless ran slow because it was rubbing up here so we're going to take and put our pro axle press into the axle slot like this. We're going to take our clamp. I'm going to clamp it down hard at the top of the axle press. And you're going to really squeeze hard. Use two hands, nice and tight. Okay. And again, you'll see those are our axle slots. All right. We're going to take, turn it this way so it's easier to see our axle which is a nail and this one has been filed but not yet polished we'll talk a little bit about that in the next video or in another video and we're going to put it in there tap it in to get it going and we want to go straight and again this is where the axle press comes in it helps it go straight into the axle and that's more than far enough but that's fine I'm going to release our clamp Move our axle tool out of the way, and you'll see how it's nice and straight inside there. Now, what we want to do is then remove that axle, because really we're just piloting the hole. And again, we're doing this as our very first step to prevent cracking of the axle slots, right? The wood is now in its most structurally sound state, okay? so. Uh, we don't have to worry about cracking an axle while inserting it and it's easier to use the pro axle press while it's in this form uh, it's easier to clamp down and that's the problem I had with this car is I couldn't get a good clamp with all of this stuff on top so uh, these are also a special tool they're axle pliers they're grooved if you can see that right there and so it makes it easier to grab onto the head of the axle and with a slight twisting and pulling motion we are going to extract the axle from the slot. Now you see there's a nice pilot hole it's a little round there as opposed to this one which is straight and later on when we're done when we're ready to assemble the car we can actually push the axle in with finger pressure to the right depth. We don't have to hammer it and worry about again splitting the axle. Okay so that's the first step. You'll do that all the way around. Again, using the axle press into the next slot. We're going to clamp and nail. And again, I found that it helps to clamp right up top. And the reason is, if you don't, and you have, you have your sons helping you, or your daughters if they're doing a sibling race, is that if they do hammer on an angle, Right, it will pop the axle press out, so it helps to clamp really hard up top, and again, nail straight down. Okay. All right, and again, this, I'm going to remove the axle, and this is, should be your very first step in building your Pinewood Derby car. So now, once you get all four axles done, you can begin shaping your car. and. We have templates that are available to help you with that. Um, with even Again, you do this before you add any fenders on or anything else. Start with your basic block, insert your axles, and remove them. Okay? Thanks. 
See you in the next video.